the Supreme Court of India, in a landmark decision, has standardized enrollment fees for advocates across the country. This ruling aims to ensure fairness and equal opportunity for all aspiring legal professionals, irrespective of their background. This move is particularly significant for young law students and new advocates from marginalized communities for whom exorbitant fees could pose a significant barrier to entry. The judgment reflects the court's commitment to upholding the principles of equality and accessibility within the legal profession. By addressing the disparity in enrollment fees, the court has paved the way for a more inclusive and representative legal system. This decision has been widely lauded by legal experts and aspiring lawyers alike. This landmark judgment is a testament to the Supreme Court's commitment to social justice. This decision will have a profound impact on the legal profession in India. It is a step towards ensuring that merit, not money, determines entry into the legal profession. The ruling is in line with the court's recent efforts to enhance transparency and accountability in the legal profession. By streamlining the enrollment process, the court aims to eliminate any potential for arbitrariness or discrimination. This move is expected to foster greater trust and confidence in the legal system. The Supreme Court's decision stemmed from the case of Gaurav Kumar v. Union of India. The petitioner, a law graduate, challenged the varying and often exorbitant enrollment fees charged by different state bar councils. The court, recognizing the inherent inequality perpetuated by this practice, issued a comprehensive ruling. The court meticulously outlined the permissible enrollment fees. For general category applicants, the fee has been capped at 9,000 rupees. For applicants from scheduled castes and scheduled tribes communities, the fee has been set at 4,500 rupees. This fee structure applies to all state bar councils, ensuring uniformity across the nation. Furthermore, the court explicitly stated that no other charges, termed as miscellaneous fees, could be levied upon enrollment. This clarification aimed to curb the practice of some bar councils imposing additional financial burdens on aspiring advocates. The court's unambiguous stance on this matter sends a strong message against any form of exploitation. This landmark judgment is rooted in Section 24, 1F of the Advocates Act, 1961. This section empowers the Bar Council of India to make rules for regulating the legal profession, including the fees payable for enrollment. By exercising its authority under this section, the Supreme Court has streamlined the enrollment process and ensured greater transparency. The Gaurav Kumar v. Union of India case did not arise in a vacuum. The Supreme Court's decision drew upon previous judgments and its own evolving understanding of equality in the legal profession. The court acknowledged its own past pronouncements on the matter of access to justice. It recognized that financial barriers to entering the legal profession directly impede the pursuit of justice for many. This judgment has a prospective effect. This means that while it addresses past discrepancies, its primary impact will be on law students seeking enrollment after the date of the ruling. This clarification is crucial to ensure clarity and prevent any misunderstanding regarding the implementation of the new fee structure. The landmark ruling has been hailed by legal experts as a significant step towards a more inclusive and accessible legal profession in India. The judgment has set a precedent for other professions to follow, encouraging them to review their enrollment practices and ensure fairness and equity. This decision has the potential to trigger wider reforms in professional bodies across the country. This ruling is not merely a legal victory. It is a victory for the thousands of aspiring lawyers who can now pursue their dreams without being burdened by exorbitant fees. It strengthens the foundation of our democracy by ensuring that the doors of the legal profession are open to all, regardless of their economic background. Section 4. A boon for aspiring lawyers. For young law students, particularly those from economically weaker sections, this judgment is a game changer. The standardized and reduced enrollment fees significantly alleviate the financial burden on them. This allows them to focus on their professional development and contribute to the legal system without the shadow of debt. 
the removal of miscellaneous fees adds another layer of financial security. It ensures that aspiring advocates are not subjected to hidden costs or arbitrary charges during the enrollment process. This transparency fosters trust in the system and encourages more individuals to consider a career in law. This decision empowers aspiring lawyers from marginalized communities. By making legal education more accessible, the judgment paves the way for a more diverse and representative legal profession. This, in turn, strengthens the fabric of our democracy by ensuring that all voices are heard within the legal system. The judgment's emphasis on uniformity ensures a level playing field for all aspiring lawyers, regardless of which state bar council they choose to enroll with. This eliminates any potential for regional disparities and promotes a sense of unity and equality within the legal profession.